this is a really exciting collaboration with ourselves and the Arts Council, which started when we had a strategy or a framework done which said Northern Ireland is a great heritage sector, but it needs to be brought to life. And you're sitting on one of the richest art sectors there is, and you've got to release that energy. And that was really the purpose of this. We wanted to work with the Arts Council who know the art sector, with ourselves who know the tourism sector, and create a combination of all the talents that are out there. Well, this is a partnership between the Arts Council of Northern Ireland and Tourism Northern Ireland. And the idea is to show how arts organisations and the arts imagination, creative imagination, can illuminate and animate uh, you know, tourist locations and destinations. We have Navan Fort, the Seamus Heaney Home Place in Balahi, the Ulster American Folk Park in Oma, and this spectacular surroundings here of Titanic Belfast. One particularly important and effective way of making geographical locations come alive is to use the imagination of artists and that's the whole basis of the partnership. So this is a really exciting project for us to be involved in. Um, the River Box is animating Belfast Maritime Mile. Um, so our vision for this area um, is to turn Belfast's iconic heritage waterfront into an area that everybody can visit. And we want to bring to stories, the stories to life of people that worked in the shipyard, um, the past, but also the present, the people that work here today, um, but also the future, where this area is going in the future. I'm working with Dumworld and the artists involved, they've been able to interview um, many, many people involved in this area and bring those stories to life um, against a, a piece of amazing music. Yeah, well, what we've tried to do is create an experience that has a number of different levels. Um, from a distance, from a very far away, you'll see this object, you'll be able to read lines of text that are taken from the song. As you move closer, you'll see that there are faces in and amongst these letters. Um, and as you come up here to the front, you'll see that there are two screens that in the evening light up and you'll see a video presentation of people and portraits of all the people who we've met as we've researched this project. Um, at that point there, just below, you'll read, uh, to hear me sing, go to this certain website. At that point, with your mobile phones, you go to a website, press play, and you'll be able to hear the song of the people who are singing there and especially create a piece of music that we've that we've written that that sings the departure and sings the arrival. In addition to the Dunworld project here at, uh, at Titanic Belfast on the Maritime Mile we have um, Kabash Theatre Company uh, in Balahi and the Seamus Heaney Home Place. In Navan Fort we have the Armagh Pipers and Armagh Rhymers collaborating inventively in an original way and we have at the Ulster American Folk Park as you can see just a whole other dimension of experience which is transatlantic snow water will be interpreting and retelling and illuminating that particular story. Uh, so Kabash are producing a piece called A Balahi Tale by Vincent Higgins. It's a new piece that we've actually created for the home place in Balahi and it's a way of trying to enhance what's currently being offered within the venue itself and we wanted to let visitors see the real Balahi, to actually take a walk through the streets, meet the people, see the iconic sites that actually shaped who Seamus Heaney is and like what informed his poetry. And so the audience will start at home place and they will journey to St Tilda's and then they go to Balahi Bon and then they go to the GAA ground and then they go back to the famous Diggin statue in Balahi and then back to home place. And it is a beautiful tale, very mystical, uh, with live music done by Jane Cassidy and it'll be performed by Maria Connolly and Nikki Harley. What I'm working on is really 300 years of uh, immigration told through music from the early 1700s through to the early, th early 20th century. Ultimately it'll make 12 videos and come the autumn there are going to be three aspects. There's going to be the, the, the guided tour app that will be there, there's going to be an exhibition in the place but also and very uh, inventively there's going to be a vinyl album made of the music recorded uh, for the project. So it's, it's, it's a win-win all round I think for everybody. Our project is uh, called Maka. So it's a partnership between the Armagh Rhymers and uh, the Armagh Pipers Club. There's a new piece of music being composed by Niall Valley 
and that's just so exciting, so interesting. So anybody coming along in the night, it'll be a world premiere for his new piece of music. We'll be using the poetry of Seamus Heaney, um, John Montague, Michael Longley. The whole hill will be lit up, there will be tree dressing uh, as well, but you'll have some of the best musicians in Ireland oh, performing so. yeah, Niles' uh, uh, composition.